In the ongoing uh, uh, protests in the Rif region of, of Morocco, there's a large protest today which, by which the government has responded to by blocking roads, trying to block entry by sea, uh, slowing down the internet. And so I just wanted to know, I know this has come up, and at one point Stefan said that, the, that there may be something coming down, given that in fact the protests are growing and the repression and the number of people locked up has grown. Has, has the Department of Public, uh, excuse me, Political Affairs or the Secretariat taken any note of this? Uh, certainly we take note of this and, uh, and I'll check with them about any response. And did you get, I, I, I tried to ask yesterday as you left, I'd asked you two days ago, I think, whether, whether you would confirm receipt by DPA and DPKO of a communication by the Frente Polisario about this, these arrests now reported in three countries' media of people coming over the berm into Western Sahara where you have a peacekeeping mission. Have you received that, and what's the uh, Renewal going to do we're, about it? We're, we're aware of this. Um, the thing about that is that uh, the UN mission uh, in Western Sahara, Minurso, uh, does not have uh, uh, any sort of civilian law enforcement role. We don't have any mandate uh, to have access uh, to these individuals, and, and they have not had access to them. Okay. All right, here we are in front of the United Nations. And here, after we've asked many times, are some guys. Oh, this guy. Hey. I just asked today about about uh, did, Morocco's yes, crackdown. Yes, they have yes. no comment. Once again, yes. fifteen times, no comment. Yes, but I'm yes. glad to see you out here. I saw the flag. Oh, I have to come across. So yeah, yeah. What's going on? So, what's how is the protest going over there? Good, good. Uh, I heard there is some uh, sense of violence. Uh, yes. Yeah, just starting yes. right now, right? Really? Yeah, like a limousine. Uh, yes, and you were using tear gas. Tear gas. Uh, this is the last update that we have. I saw a picture uh, of people coming in by boat because they couldn't get there by land, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, what I don't understand, and maybe you can comment on it if you don't mind, I'm going to. Why the UN? It seems like they comment on they comment on crackdowns and and the, the right to protest all over the world, but in this case, they're seemingly not wanting to comment at all. Yeah, what, what do you think is behind that? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying it's not an important protest. I'm saying that the United Nations, one time they said, we, we're following it, we might have some comment, and then they had no comment. How feel? Uh, what is happening? Yeah. American ally, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, exactly. That's what probably one of the things, right? So the question is, um, your question was like, why the uh, United Nations... Yeah, do you think the UN has, has responded, has been, has been responded as this thing has uh, has uh, progressed and escalated? I mean, we have something like uh, so many letters regarding this uh, issue and rape, and they haven't responded to us, not even like uh, uh, give us more details or anything like that. So uh, I heard, I saw last time in a video that you've been some questions and you said like, this is the 15th time you've been asking this question, question and no, no response. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and, and is it the person of the just yes. still like, you know, uh, Exactly. We yeah, have nothing. Can there some more information of the situation? What was the response this time? No, no. This time he said, he said, well, of course we've taken note of it, but we still have no formal comment. See, what happens is, at one point, the spokesman said the Department of Political Affairs under Jeffrey Feldman, long-standing U.S. official, might have a comment, and then he, it just never happened. So somebody, I, I covered the UN enough. The Moroccan ambassador is quite well played. I mean. This guy Omar Halale, he's, he, he lobbies them on Western Sahara, all, all kinds of topics. Yeah. So I'm sure he just called them and said, "Don't comment." Exactly. The question That's is, they is. lose credibility. The you Amer know? Americans and the French, because uh, Moroccan allies, yeah. I'm sure they lobby, you know, right. they lobby against any statement from the UN body. Mm -hmm. Do you, what about the Human Rights Council? I, mean, I, I Some people sent me stuff from Geneva that there's some attempt to get the, either the Human Rights Council yeah, or the, really the High Commissioner. To get in touch with but them. like honestly, at this point of level, it's really obvious. Like yeah. you see all those marches like in Holland, sure. in Brussels. Mm -hmm. So do you think something is okay? Everything is fine? Obviously something is going right. on. Something There is an abuse of human rights and they detained over than 200 people in the prison. And they're peaceful people. All they wanted was basic rights. So, and I'm pretty sure like somebody cannot release a comment or a statement because uh, it's either they don't have enough information mm -hmm. or they want to hide false information. They hope it, or they're and trying. Or they want to manipulate right. the information. There's a new secretary general. His name is Antonio Guterres. He used to be the prime minister of Portugal. Yeah. He says he's for conflict prevention, which would, this would seem to qualify for. Yeah. I'm wondering if you think is there some attempt to get? To, uh, you know, he's just one guy, but he's he should be running the show. Yeah, what, yeah. What's, what have been what, this issue? How has Portugal in the past dealt with it? How is Spain dealing with it? What, well, just... Obviously, Spain uh, has no interest in any form of violence right now. Mm -hmm. Because the, one of the, Spain will be the first country to, to be affected mm -hmm. if, the, if the violence broke up. 
So sure, a lot of people flee the north, mm -hmm. and go to Spain. Mm -hmm. So Spain, I'm sure Spain will just watch from far away and see what we do. I saw some article where the Spanish government was sharing information, some kind of information, surveillance yeah, yeah. information with the Moroccan yeah, yeah. Gov yeah. with the gov government. Yeah, I don't know. We the can, Spanish we go to yeah. the French will do it. Yeah. We're not trying to be political, sure. but all we're trying is like what's right, mm -hmm. what's human rights. We're not talking about okay. politics. Yep. We're not talking about classified files, like such as like the using chemical weapons and so on. Mm -hmm. But like all we want is like people being demonstrated peacefully mm -hmm. on the streets, demanding like basic rights. Yep. And the government is responding with violence, but we're not attempting to cause or to go beyond being peaceful. Sometimes people ask to meet with the, with the, you know, maybe not Antonio Guterres, but like staffers of the Department of Political oh, Affairs. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I How can't. Can we get that? I know some Cameroonians that they took them like months. But I mean, there's a way to, you know, if you say you're. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. I mean, we're more than. Uh, go online. Look up UN.org, Department of Political Affairs, and just go down the line. Because it seems I've seen some of them walk by as we're oh, here really? talking. They just they're too they're too eager to go to lunch, you know. Yeah. So so just try. I would you know there's nothing. Uh, it, it doesn't. An email costs you nothing. We'll, you know? try, we'll try to get it. With <laughs> and let me. Get, I don't actually have my car with me. I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. normally dressed this way. I wish I was. Wait, what, what are you doing? It's too hot. Yeah. I just came out there. I have to get back in to cover this. There's something oh. about Lebanon. But I'm going to give you my car. Send yeah, me yeah, sure. whatever. Especially if these guys. Or I, may, I hope I'm not out of them. If I am, it's just intercity, intercitypress.com. Take a look at it that way. Inner city? Yeah, intercitypress.com. Also on Twitter. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm unprepared. I'm, I'm a, I myself am on my. Uh, yeah, yeah. I saw the flag because I've been, I've been. You know, I said, wait a second. It's, it's very distinctive. It's very distinctive. You know. So good look. I think it's good you guys are out here. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I, I do. It, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, intercitypress.com. I told you something about the, your uh, question Q and A. Question. Yeah, unsuccessful yeah. Q and A. I'm going to do another article later today, so you'll see it. Maybe um, this is on Periscope, so we'll, yes, we'll, we'll yes, go we'll from there. Some, uh, documentation okay, please, please, please. I'll put it in my. I, I wish I was more prepared. I feel no, I feel no, no, as a okay. kind of. A, if it wasn't, if it weren't for the heat, I, I, I'd, I'd have a whole different. Oh, great, sure, great. I'm glad to see you guys. Really, it's, it, I felt I felt I, I felt I was dreaming when I saw that flag. You know. <laughs> Having the just, can become true. yeah, having just, having just uh, asked them about it, it's 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 uh, more real. I'll tell you, there's a, there are a number of Moroccan state journalists that are constantly like, like, I'll ask this question about these, and then they'll say, but wait a second, what about the the Tindouf camps and the stealing of aid? <laughs> I mean, it's like there's like three or four of them. It's, it's like the same yeah. question again. And on that, the UN has comments. Oh, we're deeply concerned. We're going to track down every last biscuit. No, it's it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a joke. It's it's truly. Everything goes live. Yeah. And every like you know. It's I know. Now, we're now longer working with the. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and they have three guys. They're like, well, wait a second. I have a follow up. What about those? And you're talking about like a, some EU report from 2006. I'm not saying it's not serious. I'm just saying like this is today. 17. Yeah. I mean, I get a lot of like angry messages from Morocco. Saying, Don't ask about it. Who are you? Real. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look at look at the killings in Chicago. You should. You know, it's like okay, I ask about that too. They don't answer on that either. So what was what was the things? What was the, uh, you said you I asked the same question 15 times, and what was his response again? Was the the same thing? The, one of the reasons that I'm keeping count of it is that the Moroccan ambassador here, this guy called Omar Halali. Yes. One time I was the last time they met in Western Sahara. I, I said, I have a question. He says, I'm going to call on you, but I want you to know I'm watching you. Yeah. Our mission has counted it, and you've asked 125 questions about what's his era. I said, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm covering the issue. Like, I'm not ashamed of it. He said, no, no, 125. You know, now the world knows who you are. Now I will answer your question. And then he didn't answer it. So now I've decided, now I'm counting oh, on this Chris here too. Now I'm up to 15, because, 16, because 17, now 18. Because the world knows who <laughs> yeah. you are, and yeah. your voice can be translated to other people. Well, he you meant can, it like, I'm sometimes yeah, exposed. Like, and I said, it's crazy, because you have, the way the UN operates, they have like the, the Maghreb era press. These guys are like, have full access. They don't even come into the building. They come in oh. only in order to say, wait a second, you know, what about this? Uh, you know, they, they basically are there to kind of monitor other journalists. There was one time I was waiting in the lobby, the, the, the envoy on Western Sahara was supposed to come down from a meeting. So, you know, I'm a journalist. I'm, I've got my camera out. I'm waiting to talk to the guy. So is a guy from Maghreb Arab Press. I figure, okay, great. That's fine. We're both here at a stakeout. When the guy comes down, he doesn't try to talk to the guy. He sends a text message to the mission 
that I'm talking to the guy. Takes a picture of it. I said, is, are you a journalist or, or uh, some kind of an intelligence agent? <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, the UN is really something. So send me, yeah, send me what you can. I'm going to run and come back. Thank, oh, thanks so much. I'll, I'll definitely... We were trying to get a, to get a pass to the media. Uh, okay. Conference. I have a small website that they're Great. publishing stuff. Please, let me... The, because they, they should. The more the, more the merrier. I, there are days that they have... Uh, so hopefully right we'll have some help yeah. in the future. There are, days, there are days in the UN briefing they have like four people. They, I mean, I don't mean to get into my problem, but literally for, for asking questions such as these and others, yes. they threw me out of the U.S. <laughs> now I'm still in, but I'm in on a kind of shaky basis. They took all my all the files from what were used to be my office and put them in front of the bus stop. I'm not kidding you. And they put in a... They just did. You can find this on YouTube as well. They literally did. They said, they said no, no. I tried to cover a meeting in the press briefing room, and they said, no, no, this is only for some journalists, not for all journalists. You can imagine wow. which ones. <laughs> anyway, but that's, that's you guys have it. This is a bigger I fight. But I probably, I, I, they, they, they once complained. They said, they said he's taking photographs illegally from the state guys. It's totally illegal. Like here I am. I think uh, I hope this won't make you like go back. No, not at all. I've, I've decided totally, totally. For, once my boxes were in the street, it's, there's no going back. I'm going in. <laughs> all right, see you guys. All right, those are the guys. So all I can say, we did it. Just so you can understand some of the some of the reaction and not having the, the we're out here in front of the UN. There's the UN, and the, there's the protest. Those guys spoke well. Hopefully they'll meet with DPA. Hopefully the UN will get off and do something about a nonviolent protest before it becomes something worse. Where's conflict prevention? Where is Antonio Guterres? To be continued.